Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Fingerprinting Gurus. My name is Tommy Watkins, your instructor, here for a new and exciting topic this week. Before I get into this week's topic, I would like for everyone to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and a notification bell button in order to continue to receive content like this each and every week that will not only uh, help assist in uh, growing your ink card fingerprinting business, but your mobile card, mobile ink fingerprint business as well. Uh, this week's topic, uh, field and phone calls. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of, um, well, several um, different um, areas in which um, a mobile fingerprint uh, technician uh, will field a phone call when a client calls for services. Um, number one. Answer the phone uh, by the third ring. It is courteous to pick up the phone promptly to avoid making the call a wait. Number two, offer a greeting. Example, good morning. Thank you for calling fingerprinting gurus. This is Tommy speaking. How can I help you today? That is an appropriate uh, greeting in order to, when you call um, when speaking with your clients. Also, when you uh, say that greeting, speak with a smile. Be clear, avoid slang, and be positive uh, in your interaction with the client. Also, ask before you place someone on hold. Example, I understand your concern, uh, Mr. Gurus. I am going to have to check with my supervisor to see if I will be able to reschedule um, your appointment with less than 24-hour notice. Um, would you mind if I place you on a brief hold? Those are that 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 is uh, professional and courteous at the same time when you um, when you ask to place a client uh, on hold. Also, take an accurate message um, from the client. Um, also, next, know how to transfer um, the call to the appropriate uh, person that client needs to be uh, in contact with. And least but not last, as far as our field and phone calls, um, close on a positive note. Example, thank you for calling uh, today's Mr. Gurus. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. That is an appropriate uh, closing greeting. Um, if you uh, have, if you would like to know uh, anything in addition um, to knowing more about how to field um calls for your mobile uh, fingerprinting business, feel free to drop a comment down here in the comment box, and I will surely uh, get back to you with uh, details in regards to how to appropriately uh, handle um, phone calls as they arise. Um, today, I want to uh, offer a bonus. I want to uh, field a phone call for you. Um, at this time, I will... Um, uh, wait for the phone call to come in and we will take an order uh, so you know how the process uh, really works. Thank you for calling Fingerprinting Gurus. Tommy speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I was calling to inquire about some fingerprints. Yes, ma'am. Um, how many fingerprint cards do you need? Um, I'm not for sure, but I think I need at least two. At least two fingerprint cards? Uh, do you know when you would like to uh, schedule an appointment to get your um, fingerprints taken? Well, I need to come as early as possible. Um, or how does that work? Did I come to you or do you come to me? Uh, I am a mobile uh, fingerprint technician. So I am able to um, dispatch to you on location to wherever your destination is. Uh, be mindful that I only do commercial locations, uh, do not do residential. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Um, is there an extra fee if you come out to me? Uh, depend on where you're at. Uh, if you're within uh, the city limits of um, Guruville, uh, there will not be a 
uh, travel fee. If you're outside of the city limits of uh, Grooveville, uh, there will be a uh, travel fee imposed. I think I'm outside your city limit. Where are you based at? Uh, I'm within uh, Guru, Guru County. Okay. Yeah, I'm outside of your city limit. I'm actually um, based in Greene County. Okay. So, uh, approximately how much would that be? Okay, I can uh, take down some uh, brief information. First, let me find out, uh, are you looking to be ink fingerprinted or uh, live scan? Um, ink fingerprinting. Okay, and do you, um, have a, um, do you have an idea as to when you want to be fingerprinted, time and day? Um, are you able to do it today? Uh, I can, uh, I'm booked for today, but I can get you in um, at the earliest convenience on the next day. Okay. So is that is that um, feasible for you, ma'am? Um, yes, but um, let me ask you. So if I stay like forty minutes away from you, what's the estimate? Um, uh, about how much will that um service charge for you to come to me would be? Okay, what I would do, I would uh, get that information over to my secretary. What I would do, I will um, take down your information, uh, your, your first and last name, email address, and, of course, your phone number, and I will get an invoice out to you. Uh, please bear in mind that um, in order to secure your date, time, and location, uh, this is a prepaid service, Therefore, which, I, which means that you will have to uh, pay for your services fully up front before uh, services are uh, rendered. Um, I, I don't mean to give you any extra work, but could you, um, would you be able to give me an invoice showing how much it would be if you come to my air service area or if I come to you? Will you be able to give me um, an invoice showing both ways? Yes, ma'am. I'm able to do that. Um, I can, uh, all, all of my fees are uh, broken down so it's easy to read. Uh, it's not just some number. You you know exactly what you're paying for. Okay. Uh, what what type of payment do you take? Do you? I know you said that it's a prepaid. So is it? Um, do you take a money order, or how do you make that payment? Uh, take Visa, Mastercard, American Express, and Discover card. Will I be able to get a receipt once I pay? Of course, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So how, uh, you know, I'm a little weary. I'm, this is not personal towards you and your business, but I'm a little weary about paying for a service before you come out. Um, how do I know for sure that you'll come out for that service or that I can um, trust your service? Uh, I, would, I would say just uh, take a um, look at my um, reviews there on Google, ma'am. Uh, I have been uh, in business as of uh, four years now. Um uh, my reputation speaks for itself here in the community, and trust and believe if if um, if a, a business uh, such as mine's uh, was doing any underhanded business, um, it, it it'd definitely be written about. So we try to do everything on the up and up, and we try um, um, w w we're very uh, integrity uh, based business. So once I do my ink fingerprinting, um, will you mail off the cards, or is that something I will have to do? Um, we could. I can. I can list that um, um, with an invoice. Um, is that something you're looking for? Yes. yes, it is. Okay, so I can um, list that um, on the invoice as well uh, for uh, the fees associated with that. Now, I have had ink fingerprinting done in the past, and I have had um, some fingerprinting technician where was unable to um, capture my fingerprint. Are you an expert in capturing fingerprints or working with people who have, who have difficulty getting their fingerprints? Of course, ma'am. Uh, I am a um, certified um, fingerprint technician, and I can get the... Uh, the, the best of the worst impressions. Is there anything I need to do to prepare um, 
Um, before I am. Um, I would say make sure you don't do um, anything that's uh, strenuous the day before. Um, taking uh, your ink, uh, fingerprint impressions. Try to, you know, um, stay away from uh, anything strenuous, gardening work, weightlifting, if you if you do that, rock climbing, anything of that nature that involves the hands, basically. Um, do you have a proper ID, such as a military ID, driver's license, state ID, or a U.S. passport to uh, show, show a verification of yourself? Yes, I do. Okay. So you would definitely need to bring uh, that with you. Uh, at the time, at the time of the signing, so I can verify your identity. So, do I make uh, an appointment now or after I pay? Um, you can go ahead and make that appointment now, um, okay. and I can uh, forward you the invoice. And you have uh, approximately one hour uh, to make that payment. I, I can't hold um, a time slot no longer than that, so it's imperative that you uh, make your payment immediately in order to secure uh, your date, time, and of course location to be uh, fingerprinted. Well, let me ask you this because I hear that you said um, that I have one hour in order to secure that appointment time um, that we are going to set here in a few moments. But I want to know that because I'm driving right now and I probably won't be able to get to a computer to do this until about two hours. Are you able to hold that invoice and give me a chance to get home or get to a place where I can pay, even if it doesn't secure that payment time, but I, I can do a later time if that's okay with you? Uh, yes, ma'am. What, what I would uh, suggest that you do just give me a call back uh, when you're ready. I can't, uh, like I say, secure that um, time and, and date for you at this time because it'll be unfair to other uh, consumers looking for uh, an immediate date to get their fingerprints done. So, uh, therefore, the, the earliest uh, you can uh, call me back, I can get uh, that appointment uh, date and time uh, secured for you. Okay, so um, about what time do you have available? Um, uh, what day are you looking to be fingerprinted? Well, I think um, it'll be best now if I wait another day. So if we do it on Thursday. Okay, let me uh, look here at my database here. Okay, uh, right now I'm looking at uh, have between hours of 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. for tomorrow. Uh, would that work uh, within your schedule, ma'am? Um, can we do it that afternoon? All right, let me see what I have. Uh, what time in particular do you have? I, I have uh, between, um, I have a 2 o'clock and I have a 4.30. 4.30 will be best for me. Okay, uh, I got 4.30. Okay, so as, uh, as soon as you can... Um, get to a, a, a safe um, stopping point, uh, it'll be great that you call back in to go ahead and secure that date and time. Uh, okay, I can't, let me ask you this here. Uh, so um, I'm gonna, I think what I'm going to do is just drive into Garoop um, County, and I'm going to schedule the, um, I'll meet you at a, a place in um, your county. However, um is there, should I arrive before you or will you arrive before me or how does that work? Uh, I'm usually uh, on site uh, way beforehand. Uh, okay. So um, you so you won't have a, a problem with uh, locating me. So I would definitely already be there on the scene, uh, set up, uh, ready to go. And about how long does this whole process take? Uh, depending on the number of fingerprint cards, you stated that you wanted uh, two fingerprint cards, correct, ma'am? That's right. All right. This, that, that process should take no more than uh, about uh, 10, about 10, 15 minutes, just depending on the con your conditions of your um, of your uh, ridges for your fingers. Okay. All right, then um, I will be um, waiting on you to send that information. Do you need my information? Um, well, just um, I already got you. Just provide me your email address and your first and last name. Uh, my first and last name is 
my first name is Stacy. All right, Stacy. Your last name, Stacy. Woods. All right, Miss Woods. Uh, your phone number, Miss Woods. It's nine nine nine. Uh huh. Nine nine nine. Five 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 five. Okay, and your email address. My email address is one Stacy Woods. Okay. At mobile. Okay. Dot net. All right, great. Uh, what I'm going to do at this time, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, get that uh, invoice, get that invoice uh, generated, get this information off uh, to my secretary, and she will generate that invoice uh, for you. And you should uh, receive that invoice in a roughly about 25, 30 minutes. Okay. Do you have... Let me ask you this question. Do you call me before you in, uh, come out or when you're in route or um, once I get the invoice and it says paid, it's, that's all I have to worry about? Uh, what I would do once uh, I receive payment, I would advise you uh, via phone or uh, text messaging and advising you. And what I would do, I will place uh, the meet location address within the invoice so you okay. would know exactly... Uh, where where you heading and where we're going to meet? I have one last question. Yes, ma'am. So, um, how does this work if my if my fingerprints are rejected? All right, if your fingerprints are rejected, ma'am, you have um, I have a policy of thirty days in order to um, you know, uh, to provide you a complimentary uh reprint for his rejected prints, um. If it's if it take a little longer than that, I can work with that because I know typically um, these checks are not really. Sometimes they're sooner, sometimes they're a lot later than the thirty day period. But I will work with um, the timing on that because that's something you just uh, can't help because we during a pandemic and everything is slowed down at this point. So uh, I will give you some leeway as to, um, to that. Okay. All right, then, great. Any, anything else, uh, ma'am, uh, before I let you go? No, I think that's everything. Well, I thank you uh, for calling um, Fingerprinting our Gurus today, and I hope you have a, a wonderful rest of your day. You do the same. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was um, how you conduct a uh, fingerprinting um, phone, mobile phone call. And that that, cause that customer, she was, she 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 threw a lot at me at, at at a given time. That was a lot. Typically, you have some that's short, and 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 out of the way, and some just ask a lot of questions. So it's best to answer all their questions and answer them confidently, so that they can feel, um, you know, that you are a trusted leader that is um, handling their um, fingerprint impressions. Um, if there's any um, additional questions in regards to the content uh, that you have uh, seen today, please do hit that like and subscribe button and also comment at the bottom of the page and I will be happy um, to assist you. Uh, my name is Tommy Watkins of Fingerprinting Gurus. Uh, you have a nice week. Thank you.